So, you know one serious idea I've had? At some point, this might be sometime in the distant future, is doing the, um, the one powerful or whatever it is zombie mode of Resident Evil Remake. I was very intimidated by that, but I thought maybe I'll do the Jill side of that or something, and I probably won't do it as a stream like I did my original playthrough of uh, Resident Evil Remake, because uh, I'm expecting to fuck up a lot, especially if I play in hard mode. Um, right. But, uh, yeah, I thought that'd be a fun idea. I've got so many ideas for the future. I've got to play the games which um, I haven't played still, which I mentioned before, you know, the remainder of Resident Evil games. I still have some left. I just keep forgetting about them. I really do. So, uh, yeah, I imagine in the near future I will be playing Resident Evil 7. Finally, I'll be doing Resident Evil 3 Remake on stream, as I've mentioned many, many times during my Resident Evil 3 playthrough. Kind of due to my health and all that, I had to go away, didn't end up doing that and all that. Um, yeah, we're good to go through. I've also got Resident Evil 8 coming up. Resident Evil 8's coming out, isn't it? Oh my god, what's this? Oh, I've got to blow that in your face. Um, don't like the fact there's a zombie on the other side. There we go. Oh god, why is there a dog in here? You put a dog in here. It's so stupid. Oh, I missed. I gotta wait. Oh, you would do. Double howl, sure, why not? Blow on you. Oh, blow you away. Oh. We've got zombies either side, no problem. Not a problem for me. The master of knifing. Oh god, what? You're throwing everything at me! This is just stupid! Uh, oh, now you do a jumping attack! And that really injured me as well. I'm on orange. How did that happen? It's hunters, they're full of bullshit. Oh, here we go, here the Chimera. Right, so I'm gonna heal myself straight off the bat here. Ah, this is not gonna be fun. I've gotta go down this way first, I believe. Let them come down before you shoot them, because trying to shoot them off the ceiling is a... You would be here, wouldn't you? Oh, Luke, this is just silly. Power regulator. The voltage is incorrect, adjust the wiring. How, how... How am I doing all this while the Chimera on my ass? Place two wires. Uh, when all graphs extend into the red... I assume there's more to this. The electricity will be powered on. Huh? Two times two? Okay. So this is shown on two screens again, unfortunately, for you guys. Uh, I didn't know puzzles like this would exist, but it's fine. It's fine that, you know, you're only seeing one screen. It's not really necessary. Um, what have I got to do? Even them out. Is that what it's saying? So we've got two, three. Oh, let's just try clicking things. That's not doing anything. Huh? What? Some is pressed, but I... Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but I can't seem to click anything, I can't seem to do anything. Wait. What's that? Oh. Oh, wow. You could have been a bit more specific. You've got to click these tiny little points here. But, like, what... What have I got to do with this? It's like bringing out some elastic or something. Don't I need to click it from, like, the bottom? Connect these things together? Ah. Uh, uh, what? I, f I... 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 I've been fucking around with this for ages now, and... I don't even know what I just did. I think I need to reread the description. I think that's the problem. I think I'm missing something very obvious. Um, let's just back out of this and I'm gonna have to kill these guys. And I miss. That's great. That, that's a good first magnum shot there. Ah, great. They're both on the ceiling again. Do you want to come the fuck down, please? Thank you. Right. That's one dead. It's not dead. It's actually not dead. Excuse me. 
Would you stay dead, please? Why do they take two shots of a Magnum? Why is that a thing, Capcom? That's... Okay, that's actually fine given how easy this has been so far. I'm on yellow, by the way. I'm just gonna go ahead and... I don't have a green herb on me. I thought I did. Oh yeah, of course, I mixed it in, didn't I? Right. Yeah, let's try this again. So, place two wires when the... All graphs extend into red. The electricity will be powered on. What? How does that result in whatever I just did? That. How does that... I, I don't get it. I really fucking don't get this. Oh, right. No, I don't get it. I don't get... I don't get... I didn't even know that I had to connect these things together. Right, so... I, I don't... Okay, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Um... I guess the numbers added up or something. That honestly has me baffled. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with it. I have no idea. I'm going to be equally as confused on the Chris side, probably. I should probably write this down, but uh, I, I want to understand it. I kind of want to understand it. I can't believe how long I spent on that. Am I really going to finish this game tonight? Questions. I have questions. Um, where are the Chimera in this area? I thought that we're supposed to be Chimera about. Anyway, we got the last passcode. We can now free Chris. So let's pop this in. There we go, passcode 3. I'm so... deflated. Due to the amount of mistakes I've been making in this game. Where are they all? What? There's no Chimera. There's supposed to be loads in that room. Are they in this room instead? Just got him thrown him in this room. You have. Oh, you dick. Well, I knew you'd do that, but... Oh, would you just come the fuck down? I'm on danger. Right, I'm gonna heal. I think there's some items in this room or something. Right, there we go. Oh, come on. Why did they get iframes like... Luke, 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 Luke. This is just dumb. Oof. Guys, come down. Please, thank you. Right. I aimed at the... You know, it's fine. I've got plenty of healing. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die and I'm gonna have to do that puzzle again, aren't I? Just know it. It's like they just hit you sequentially, don't they? Right, run away. Get far, far away from these dickheads. Right, that's one down. The other one's gone onto the ceiling because of course he has. Get... No, not on me! Luke. Luke, you're just being silly. Just come down. Please. There we go. Right. Now, actually die. Huh? Oh, he jumped back up. He jumped back up, but it didn't even animate. I guess he just fell off the screen or something. I'm using so many magnum bullets on this bastard. Problem fucking solved. Right. So here's the triggering system activator. It's quite big. But that's not what I need to look at, apparently. Um, what do I need to do here? I thought I needed to set it off. Do I not need to set it off? Is this it? Power connection switch. No power to... Uh, adjust the wiring. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay. Place two wires when all graphs extend into the... I guess I've got to learn the bloody thing now, haven't I? I don't get this puzzle whatsoever. This has been the first time in ages in a Resident Evil game where I've just not got a puzzle whatsoever. Okay, apparently that did it, but I don't get it. I don't understand how the fuck that works. Power for the fucking elevator is activated as the power supply and the circuits have been connected. Good. So that is the elevator into the final fucking area. But first, we're gonna go say hello to Chris. Um, don't I need to do something else here? Like, why, why isn't the emergency thing gone off or anything? Oh. Is it because I need to press something else? Like, do I need to do something with this computer, maybe? 
It's quite big. No, no, I guess I have just got to go down into the, um, into the final area first before all that happens. Yeah, that's right. That's definitely right. Okay, this is taking me a lot longer than I was expecting it to. Now, this empty room, is it still empty? Because I hope it's empty still. I do really hope it's empty still, because I'm sick of Chimera already. It is, good. Alright, let's forget about this area, forget about all these stupid puzzles. Just get out of here. Right, I'm gonna go help Chris. <sighs> How? Why? Um, can I come past you? Are you gonna let me do that? I think I picked the right side. God damn it. Get off. Let me through. Thank you. Groany, groany, groan. Uh, thankfully, there's nothing down here. Is there gonna be something in the cell? What do you reckon there is? Like before we meet Chris. You've entered the passcode, you've entered the next one. Oh god. I'm stressed. Is there anything in here? No, it's all good. And my controller's acting up again. Alright. Jill? Is that you, Jill? No, Chris, it's me, Barry. Of course. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. Quite I know, Chris. a predicament. Anyway, I have to open this room. It doesn't work. Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? Thanks. I'll be waiting here for you. I uh, he he was planning on going elsewhere, but because Jill asked him politely to wait there, he's not gonna go now. He's not gonna go. Isn't that good of Chris? Isn't that really, really good of Chris? Alright, so we gotta come back for him after we have dealt with um, the first part of our final boss. Which is probably gonna be a knifing segment instead. Why is there two zombies there? I'm not happy about that. But it's fine, I suppose. Alright, so I'm gonna grab a load of healing supplies and um, I'm gonna save the game because I, I don't wanna think about that wiring puzzle ever again. How is my inventory empty? Have you done this to me, game? Uh, mix up? No, not that one. That one, yes. And first aid sprays, and we can pull out another one in just a moment. Let's use this, equip that, and then head over here to save our game. I'm going to take a very, very short break, I think, before we go into this final segment. This has been a far longer recording session than I was expecting. Oh, God, it has. I've returned. Let's murder as a tyrant and a, um, and a Wesker. Well, we never get the, uh, the satisfaction of murdering him ourselves, I suppose, but, well, not until Resident Evil 5. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that game. That ending. Uh, let's take a first... I don't think I'm going to need all this. Like, really, really don't think I'm going to need all this. But... Th this was always a really underwhelming fight. This is, like, one of the easiest boss battles in the entire series. Still. No reaction? Has no power? Have I just got to do some... Yep, of course. Jill! Jill! Yes, dear. What is it? Jill! You're here, too. I am. Yes, you're here, too? We're all here. Okay. I lost my way. Oh. Let's get going. I... I... I'm sort of getting skeptical of my choice earlier on. If this murders Barry, I'm gonna be so angry. I'm gonna have to repeat the entire fucking game again just for the ending. Just for the final boss. Thanks to some stupid guide. I should have saved in different slots, shouldn't I? I should stop worrying about this and just let it happen. If it happens, it happens. I have to repeat the entire game. It's all good. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. Okay. So I'm leaving. Cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything. Because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Oh, that's nice. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. Why does he say that like a news reporter? That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. 
To me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! I love you. Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. Hot. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? Probably continue what doing Let's Plays if I'm being honest. Charge. You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh, please do. Oh, oh hi. I forgot you did that. Barry! Hello. Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and <laughs> Wesker were talking family? about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! House? Yes, do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon called tyrant or something I, I think do you think we could see tyrant now oh yes Mary you're so optimistic it would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose maybe you're right let's go then you know he moves at such a snail pace I wouldn't really be worried about that at least in his first phase anyway um, yeah it's probably not gonna be any threats most I, I'm pretty sure everyone can outrun him, no problem. Alright, here we go. Oh, wow. Yes, the visibility of this. Oh dear. Beautiful. I, I can certainly tell what's going on there. Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Wow, don't underestimate it, Jill. Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. Just call it the Tyrants. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. I wouldn't do that, Barry. Like, oh my god, what if there's a knifing segment and you have to knife his heart? Which is very much on the, you know, outskirts of his body. Um, probably would be very easy to knife. Uh, Barry? Might want to move. No, just yell at him. That works. Oh, there he goes. Bye. So, I've now got to deal with tyrants. I can't control what it does. Oh, isn't that a shame, Jill? And is this going to be the same as... It may well be the same as usual. All right, that's fine. Oh, you actually got a hit on me there. Well done. Well bloody done. Let's just get some acid rounds on him. Uh, Jill? Oh, great. Why did you go and do that? How many does it take? I thought it was, like... Yeah. That much. Is that seriously it? Like, I would have expected them to add something a little bit extra to this, or something down those lines. I just I, I just wasted it in, like, six or seven acid rounds, haven't I? Maybe a bit more. You're alive! 
He's fine. He just got slapped once. You got slapped once. I'm really embarrassed. I was clumsy. Let's get going. Ah, it's just a minor concussion. That thing couldn't harm a fly. All right, so Barry now follows us. Let's uh, go get Chris and then get out of here. We're at the ending. We're right at the end of this game, pretty much. Yeah. Um. That, wait, what? Oh, sorry. I got a little bit confused for a moment there because I thought Wesker? we were going into the room that we're currently in. He's gone. He's gone to the next game. He's gone to Cove Veronica. That's where he's gone. Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left for us. And off they rush. Not before an exciting elevator ascension sequence. Just look at this. It's enthralling stuff, guys. So give him the nod. He knows what that means. He knows what that means. Anyway, I'm gonna go grab my Magnum. I may as well save the game again. Oh, this isn't gonna stop, is it? Enjoy the background music, guys. Have yourself a rave. Have yourself a real good rave. Uh, so Magnum comes back out. This was pointless. This really, really was pointless. I'm pretty sure I could have taken him down no problem. So what, just to be doubly safe. I will keep the bazooka on me. And we can put those away. This really... There's not going to be any points, is there? There really isn't going to be any points. Alright, ink ribbons. I'll say one thing I can do, actually, just to sort this out, is... Um, oh, wait, that's not going to make a difference. Sorry, I was going to empty that out and put those in. But yeah, you can't do that, can you, in this game? Can't put the 412 in, I mean. Alright. So, let's save the game one more time, and I'll take out another herb with me. Oh, peace and quiet. Thank you. Enjoy this as brief as it is, guys. Ink Ribbon goes away, and health item, health item. Do we have any left? Like, any, uh... Yes, we do. Okay, so let's take that out with us. And, well, let's combine the Magnum Bullets in here. There we go. Okay. Let's go. We need to go help Chris. There's going to be some enemies on the way more than likely. There might be another knifing segment, actually. There may well be another knifing segment. There might- the final boss might be a knifing segment. Uh, what the hell is that sound? Oh, of course, Chimera. Yeah, I should have, um, I should have expected that. Alright, back out here. Uh, is there gonna be anything in this room? Surprisingly, no. Of course, this is where Chris was being stored, when he was waiting for us, guys. Okay. I uh, maybe should have- oh, oh. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Oh, this is a problem. That's alright, I got that that time. Alright, so let's heal ourselves and just try and avoid these guys. Um, tell you what, I'll get the bazooka out, run this way, turn around, and... Sure. That works. So yeah, it's a good job I brought these out with me. Oh, for God's sake, you're kidding me. Get off! I've gone back into yellow again. Alright. It's fine, we get to uh, use another inventory before the final boss anyway. Uh, silly as this is that I'm getting damaged here. I think it'll be essential just to pull out another herb there. Oh, Jill! It's me! Sorry for keeping you waiting. So everything is done? Well, almost, yes. Now let's go. Don't fill him in on anything. All the craziness that's go been going on. This soundtrack is entirely different as well. Think. Is it? Now, uh, Chris is just gonna very distantly wander around behind us, trying to follow us. I think he leaves us at the segment. Yeah, he does. Bye. Also despawns all the enemies, I think. I hope it does anyway. Yeah, I'm 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 on my way, don't you worry. Just give me another hour to think about it. Alright. So through here, and then let's get up, up here before the Chimeras get us. We're just heading to the emergency door we saw earlier on. Up we go. There's going to be more enemies at the top of these stairs, I'm pretty sure of that. It's zombies. It's just zombies. Okay, that's not a problem. Um, I think I can get past that one. It's kind of wandering off to the side, and I think there's another one over here. You know what? I'm done with the acid rounds. I've had enough of them. <laughs> Flame rounds. 
And this is where the other inventory box is, isn't it? So, is there going to be anything in here? No, it doesn't seem like it, because Chris is in here, that's why. Alright. Let's, let's do that. But where's Barry? Where is Barry? This is what's making me anxious. Alright. So, I've got a green herb. I'm going to take that out and use it immediately. And then I'm going to take out another, another, another mixed herb. So, um... Let's do that. Uh, we don't really need anything else, I think. Look at this, I've really cleaned my inventory out, haven't I, after all this? Sadly, I don't think I've got another green red mix, have I? But that's fine. Alright, up the ladder. Oh god, is my Chris side playthrough the idea I had gonna be doable? I guess it will be because I'll be better at the knifing segments, but I'll explain that later. Once we're done with all this, because, uh... Now that's going to be fun. Stressful. Fun. Oh, I've got to pick up another ice, map, haven't I? I forgot about this. It's fine, Brad. Don't worry. Just park. We'll siphon some fuel off the tyrant or something like that. Uh, right. Choices. Um... Um, ah, no. Let's... Uh, you don't need it? I, uh, Why do you do this game? So I can't get rid of it out of my inventory. I'm gonna have to just fire all these and then reload. So I can actually fit this in. I love the way Chris is just judging me there. There we go. Now I can take it. So when it doesn't take an inventory space, I thought it did. Right. Okay then. So, uh, let's pop that in there. You just lose it immediately. This is the most pointless thing in the entire game, I swear. There is three minutes. Oh no, a whole three minutes? So. Oh no, you must be kidding. After we've come all the way here. Ladies first, go first, Jim. <laughs> Chris! Give me a chance to play nice. Okay, I'll leave it up to you. See you again at the heliport. The heliport? Is this a helipad? Heliport? Heliport? Hmm. Okay, it, ma it makes sense, I suppose, but I've never heard that term before. So, three of our minutes, um, 30 seconds of them have already gone before we've even gone to the final boss. Probably more at this race. You just have to wait it out. You can't skip any of this. Alright, so what we've got to do now, the big hurrah, we've got to get a flare and we've got to pop this on the helipad over here. Off it goes. So summon Brad. Pop. But before Brad can get here, before Brad can manage to save us, before Brad. Oh God! Hurry up! Come on. Where the fuck is it? The tyrant. Like we we're now um. I thought he showed up much sooner than this. He's fucking late, that's what it is. Never on time. There he is! <sighs> Phase two! Oh no. Right, so I'm immediately just gonna use the Magnum. The flame rounds are there just in case I needed them, but I really, really, really don't, more than likely. Wait, does he just walk around? Oh my god, he just walks around like that in the second phase as well. I thought he ran. He doesn't run. That must be the remake. I'm gonna get hit. No, I'm not. Um, so this is the final boss fight. <laughs> this is it. Oh, oh, he's running. He's running. He does run. Okay, I didn't imagine that. Okay, that hurts. Don't do it. Okay, you've done it again. You've done it again, but that's fine. I'm gonna keep emptying my gun. Let's move out of the way of him. Do you, like, does he run after you if you get so far away or something? And then Brad... Oh no, don't laugh, don't laugh, we don't have time to laugh. We've got to take this and blow up <laughs> the tyrant. That is a new voice line. That is a new voice line. Um, that's even cornier than anything that's in the original. What on earth? Oh god, oh my god, I should put a seizure warning on this. What the fuck? My eyes, ow. 
apparently time's paused. Because that happens. Oh, here we go. Final cutscene. We've done it, guys. We've done it. I thought we'd have to knife him, but it just didn't happen, did it? And this is just as low res as the introduction cutscene, it seems. Oh, God. <laughs> It has black bars around it and everything. I guess that's for the subtitles, but I don't understand why they didn't just put the subtitles over the top of the damn thing. I... Maybe it was for saving room in the... Yeah. On the cartridge. Hey. Yeah, so yeah, give him a smile. It's because he knows he like he loves Barry, but he just won't give him attention. You see, that's why he's sighing right now. He wants Barry. He doesn't care about Jill. No, she's she's asleep. and give him a cheeky smirk. But Barry's got a wife and kids, Chris. Get over it. You'll get a boyfriend eventually. Maybe by the sick game. All right, that's the end of this game. Total time doesn't really matter because I wasted so much time doing things which um weren't playing the game. Number of saves, 16. Hey, hey, these are all pointless because there's no rank in this game. Beautiful. I'm kind of honestly disappointed that there wasn't a knife fight with the tyrant to end this. Oh, that scared me. That also does scare me. Okay, so there is a, mi yeah, there's a mini game. Master of Knifing. That's what I've been referring to the entire time. We got this mini game unlocked, yeah, but we're not going to be playing that just yet. We will do at some point. I don't know how big of a mini game that's going to be, but we'll do that after we've done the Chris site. Oh, I forgot about these. Uh, this game has a multiplayer mode. Connect through the Nintendo DS play multiplayer. I probably will never end up playing it because emulation. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I don't know if it's possible to do it. I don't know if I care enough. People seem to have very mixed opinions on this multiplayer mode, whether or not it's worth playing and whatever, you know. But if one of my friends gets it working at some point, I'll definitely play it. Definitely play it. Key! We got a special key for a costume for Jill and not for Chris, because this game's silly. I don't understand why it's not to unlock for Chris, as well as Jill, as well as on the other modes, the original mode because I beat the original mode, so I can unlock the costumes on the rebirth mode, but they didn't carry over. Uh, go away. I don't care. So, that's it for this session, and that's it for the Jill side of this playthrough. I hope you've enjoyed it. Now for the big announcement of what the special thing is that we're going to be doing with Chris.